You're right, that's, this stuff's quite nice. It's quite straightforward for a change. So I got 73 out of that answer in a dying second. So now we're going to move on to arithmetic sequences in series. So remember, sequence, list of numbers. Series, same numbers with more pluses in front of them. Um, arithmetic, or an AP, AP is actually arithmetic progression, but we'll call it APs and GPs, um, means that we add on the same value. So it says here, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence whose consecutive terms have a common difference. That common difference are called D. And we're going to add on the same number. So my common dif difference I call D, my first term I call A. Now this is a little bit confusing, so the nth term is UN, the last term I call capital L, and the sum of the terms is S with a little n down as well. Right, so for the equation you have to remember these, do a different colour actually, so it stands out. So you need to remember these ones. So, well, some actually have to remember some of them. Some are in the form of one actually. This one isn't, though. Now, this is random. The last one, it's the same formula, but n has to be the size of a list. Whereas this first formula, you could work out the tenth, you could work out the twentieth, you could work out the millionth. With the second formula, which is exactly the same as the first formula, I'm doing it with, a, say, a list of 20 numbers. So then n would be 20 to work out the last one. It's just the same equation. Then I've got a sum of, so sum of is in n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. And I think n over 2, first plus last is in, but that one. Uh, it's, this is the one where n is the size of the list as well. So these two, the second one and the fourth one would use together. The first and the third one would use together. Right, so let's have a look at an example then. So with these questions, you have to be really careful. Just to make sure that you're working with either an AP or a GP. We know the GPs, yeah? Um, if it's the... Um, the term or the sum. So it says find the 47th term in the sequence. So looking at this, this sequence, 3 is your first term. So A is 3. If you look, each term is going up by 4. So my common difference is 4. I want the 47th term. So n is 47, and I want the term, not the sum, or the term. So I'm going to use un is a plus n minus 1, what's a d? So u47, the 47th term, is 3 plus 47 take 1, what's a 3? So the 47th term... So U47 will be 3 plus 46 times 3, which is 187. There. Now, some questions might ask you for the nth term. So it's the same idea. My A is 3, my D is uh, 4, but this time N is N. So my nth term, un, is 3 plus n minus 1, lots of, oh, hang on, I've made a mistake. Did you spot the mistake? D is 4. That's no good, is it? So that's a 4 there. It's still 187, because that's what the cat said. Just make sure you've got 47 there. Uh, 4 there. Sorry, everyone. There. Uh, Maybe donkey. Four. But if I expand the brackets, 
3 plus 4 and minus 4. So un is 4 and minus 4. Yeah. So make an equation with this one. And this one gets a number. If I can write the right numbers down. Did you all spot that? I put 3 instead of 4 there. Sorry. Yeah. Right, keep going, Dave. So now it says example two, find the sum of the first 250 terms. So I know that A is 4. If you look, each of these terms is going up by 6. It could go down as well because D can be negative. I'm just looking at that question for you. I should have just paused on this one. And n is 250. So I'm going to use the sum to n. It's n over 2, 2n, two plus n minus 1 lots of d. So the sum of the first 250 terms is 250 over 2. 2 lots of 4 plus 250 minus 1 lots of 6, if I put them in the right place. You stick it in your calculator as you see it, and it gives you 187750. There we go. Hmm. I'm intrigued with this question for you. Oops. Oh, come. Because they've said that A is a quarter, which we agree with, but D is minus a half. I guess it is, isn't it? So you start off with a quarter, and then you're taking a half off every time, aren't you? Yeah, I guess. Nah, don't like that question. So starting with a quarter and taking off a half every time. We can, uh, we can agree with that one. Right, let's have a look at this one then. So it says to find the sum of the following. Now I'm given the last here. So I've got the last number, but I don't know its n value. So I want to find its n value. So I know, first of all, so for finding n, the number in the list, so I know a is 10, I know un is 500, I know D is 5 because it's going up, but I don't know what N is. So I'm going to use U, well, I'm going to use L actually because I've got the last number. So L equals A plus N minus 1 D. So 500 is 10 plus N minus 1 lots of 5. Uh, so I've got 500 is 10 plus 5n minus 5. That'd be a 5 on there. Take it on the other side as a 505. It's 5n, so it's going to give 101 for n. So there's 101 terms in the... Uh, hang on. Why have they got different... Am I going mad here? That'd be a 5n, you take 5. That'd be a 5, it's plus. Oh, I don't know, I think I should just go home. So that'd be a 5, take it over, that's going to be a 4 and 5. I need to stop recording, really, don't I? If I'm making too many errors. So that's going to give us 99 for n. I'm really sorry, that's, that's two mistakes in the same video. Um, and then for the sum, so the sum of the first 99 terms will be 99 over 2. I'm just going to pause it so I can fill it. Because I've got the first and the last, I can just use the n over 2a plus l. And that gives me 25245 as a value there. And that's that. I'm really sorry. Do you know what? I should probably stop recording if this is what it's going to do to me. So sorry about that, everyone. Bye-bye.